Hey guys, Anthony here with another video on the Jackery Explorer 1000. What we're going to do today is, in my last video, I talked about a couple of other electric appliances that I carry in the van. One of them is this Elite Gourmet. Uh, it's like a hot plate I was talking about. This is a thousand watt adjustable control here. Um, we're going to have we have that plugged in now. I have the battery off the electric. I actually turned this on for a little bit, then I shut it. So the battery's at 97% right now. And then I have eight ounces of water in this uh, GSI glacier cup. Okay, you can see the, uh, it's got graduations in there and you can see eight ounces, I think. So what I'm gonna do is pour that water in the GSI catalyst, put the catalyst on here and just turn this on and see how long it takes to boil that, that water up. And then for the second test, I have this Proctosilex. It just boils water, this thing. It's like a big wide mouth. I've got a bunch of water in here. It's probably about maybe 12, 16 ounces of water. So we're going to plug this in after that. I already know this works. And then you could adjust this to boil uh, right here. I think this is 1,000 watts too. I can't read the bottom right now. I'll put the links in the description box for these products. I got them on um, Amazon. So these are options that I want to see if I could use with the Jackery, like I use the microwave oven inside the van, then I don't have to light the stove. So if I'm parked in like a, a parking lot or boondock and I don't have to open the doors to, you know, light the stove or make a flame inside the vehicle. I mean, you still got to be careful with these. You can get burned and something can get on them and catch fire, of course. But uh, I want to see if these uh, this one works. And uh, so let's uh, turn it on. So it's got numbers on it. Let's see if you could see. It goes one, two, three, four, five, and then max. So I got, I'll put it on five. You just heard the fan kick on here. You can see it's pulling 860 plus watts right hot right now. Dropping the battery while that heats up. I'll put the water in um, the catalyst from the glacier cup. I'll leave the lid off for now. Put the catalyst on there. It is. 4.15 p.m. on October 23rd, 2021. So we'll do this in real time. Just see how this, uh, this works. I just turned it up to max. I just want to see how this Elite Gourmet works. You want to have options, guys, just like I talked about in the other videos. While we're waiting, I got these from a while back from Viter Energy. If you guys have ever heard of these? These are like caffeinated mints. These are extra strength. These are regular strength. Uh, and also they have a caffeinated gum. Uh, the guys that started this company, it's a pretty interesting story. They were, um, you know, two guys here. They were at a concert or something. Uh, they didn't want to lose their spot in line. And they said, you know, what could we... Um, they went to see the Dave Matthews Band. And they said, what could we, you know, do so we don't have to run and get a cup of coffee and lose our, our spot at the concert and keep caffeinated? And they invented this uh, uh, caffeinated mints and, and gum. Um, my wife has... She actually tried the uh, extra strength uh, caffeinated mints right here. She likes uh, them. She likes them very much. Uh, I think one of these has. And I'll do a, a video on this. 80 milligrams of caffeine in one mint, and it looks like this. So, you know, two of the mints are, two of these extra strength mints are like having two cups of coffee, basically. Okay. So there you go there, and then the regular ones have 40 milligrams. So the regular ones have 40 milligrams of caffeine. The extra strength mints have double that. 
And then the caffeinated gum, this is the wintergreen, looks like this, okay? Those have 60 milligrams per piece. So 60 milligrams per piece of gum in those. So Viter Energy is the company. I'll be doing a video on that after I try them and see how they are. Meanwhile, back at the ranch here, this water is getting ready to boil. Put the camera down so you guys can see right here. You can see the smoke coming up, bubbles starting to form. Just a few minutes. The jackery is on 92%. It's pulling 876 watts. It's just running off the AC right now. You hear the fan. Okay. Actually, you might want to move this here so air can circulate. You don't want to keep anything by the air here. The air intakes. So that's going. Again, the battery's dropping a little bit, but uh, being in the van, if I'm driving around, I could, I could top this off while I'm driving. I have the adapter inside the van. So if I was stopped at a Walmart, it was nighttime, I didn't want to light my stove, but I wanted to make some tea in the van or some coffee or a hot meal that I needed to reconstitute with water or some oatmeal for breakfast. There you go. This is ready right now for tea or coffee or whatever. And so it's on max. It's a thousand watt elite gourmet hot plate and um, it's been on for about five minutes six minutes and um, the battery's down at 90 percent as you can see but we got ourselves a hot beverage so let's shut this off okay we just shut it you could see the wattage go down on the jackery the fan kicked off. You could hear the water boiling. Okay. So this does work. It's, it's a successful test uh, right there. So um, let me get this off here. So that's that. Put the lid on there and put this aside. And let's let's start up our Proctor Silex uh, teapot or water boiling pot. All right. So we'll unplug the skillet. We know that works. So I've been carrying this in the van. However, I haven't used it yet. Understand that you know this is still hot. So if you have it in the van and you use it, keep it out until it, you know it's cool before you like start packing it away or grabbing it with your hand or having anything touch it. You know, you want to be careful. It's very hot. Okay. So now we will move this over gently without getting burned. Slide this over. Move the Proctor Silex into place and plug it in and I showed you the water that's in that okay that's plugged in and again it's got the adjustable knob that says warm all the way up to boil we'll put it up to boil okay it's up to boil right now there it is there is water in there what I showed you again that's pulling the same as the other stove it's pulling 800 plus watts and it's um, 421 p.m. when we put that on so there again you could see the jackeries at 89 percent um, 840 20 30 watts it's pulling and um, I've, if I remember correctly, last time I used this, it boiled it up. It heated up the water pretty quick. Um, these are great items to have for camper, for your RV, for van life, for your vehicle. Um, if you have one of these um, batteries that will support it, uh, you could be able to, of course, if you could boil water, you could do a lot of things. Um, 
on the road. There's lots of things you could do with boiling water. That's one of the key things to be able to do. Obviously, you don't want to start making a gourmet meal, but this is already boiling almost. See the bubbles there. So 21. It's only been on a couple of minutes. So you already got hot water here, guys. Uh, that's pretty darn good in my book. Uh, and your battery's still at, you know, 88% after using two 1,000 watt electrical devices off this Jackery. So I know these two products that I bought work. Um, and uh, again, there you go. You got boiling water. So we'll shut this down back to warm. And okay, shut that back to warm. I will shut off the AC. I will unplug this from here. I know those two products work. Now I'm going to plug the Jackery back into the electric outlet. And what it'll do is it'll start to, um, another screen will come up and it'll start to charge once it registers the input from the outlet and the battery will start topping off again. So if I was driving, I could top it off while I was driving to my next location um, and um, have the battery full. Other devices that I do, I charge my microphones off this, I, I run LED lights. Um, so other stuff that I run off this battery doesn't really drain it too much. I have the solar panels on board, the Bluetti 120 watt panels that go with this, that I could hook up to this and top it off via the sun. Uh, also, if I was stationary, I could have had those panels uh, on and topping that off if it was during the day. But the test today was to make sure that the uh, electric products work that I have and so they all do uh, right now and so I'm happy about that thanks for joining me guys um, stay ready test your gear make sure it's working so when you have to go on the field or on a trip or out on an outing you know your stuff works and about how much battery you're gonna use when you use this stuff okay thanks for watching take care